And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world. Let's go. Cool. It's the That's Not Christian dale, Podcast. Dale, dale. Let's go. Now, d- you you used to train in boxing? Yeah, I've tra- I've definitely boxed before and I've definitely done that. Um and so like I be telling people you can't play boxing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think some people I think some people might have missed the, missed that. Missed I that think message. Nate Robinson missed that message uh this past mm-hmm. weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to get knocked out. I knew it. Wow, like, really knocked really? out. I knew he was gonna get knocked out before he ever fought. Like this is his first fight, right? Yeah, yeah, but this is not this is the reason I say that is like there's dudes that can fight on the street. You get in a boxing ring and you'll knock them out. But it's it's not about the ability to throw a punch, it's about knowing how to properly throw a punch, knowing how to right. properly block a shot, knowing how to knowing how to uh you know, knowing how to shield yourself, knowing how to to and to, pace yourself. Yeah, it, it absolutely knowing how to three quit. minutes is a long. Well, they, did they do two minutes they or three minute two. rounds? Two. Yeah, I mean, if it was two, even still, it's like, still a long time. It's a very long time in the ring, moving consistently, moving yeah. constantly, and like that's why we be acting like we don't know this because, like, in street fights, Cash was not swinging for eight minutes, dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, right. It was like mm-hmm. they threw they flurry in. Somebody yeah, either got knocked know. out or y'all was rolling on the ground, tussling right. somebody in the headlock. Like, it didn't last that long. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. Yeah, yeah. Acting like two minutes is not forever. Like, yeah. it's, it's a very long time. Time moves true, true. much slower. Yeah. When, like, and I remember one time. Waiting for that bell to ring. That I was in the <laughs> ring. I was in the ring one time. I thought I could scrap, right? It was a dude. It was an amateur. I had on headgear. We had 12-ounce gloves. And, um... I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I know a little something, you know, I had, had some training, you know, with grandfather and all that. And and what happened was hmm. he hit me with a hook to the body. Like, mm. and bro, I felt at that moment, like I had to do to like, <laughs> <laughs> right at that moment, I was like, Oh no, like this is, this is a bad, bad decision. Like it's a bad yeah. decision. And like <laughs> cause, cause the, the art form is called pugilism, right? The scientific right. definition of pugilism is, you know, it's the constant reconstruction, the healing and breaking of the mo- bones in your body. Like, right. so your hands crack, they get micro fractures and to, to, to strengthen themselves, they heal harder. You know what I'm saying? Right. So not only are these people learning how to properly punch, but their hands are harder than yours. Like right. so they're, they're not, then they have wraps around their hands. Right. Like the gloves are for their protection, not yours. Like their glo- right. the gloves are for their protection. Most people think that the gloves are like, oh, it's not going to hurt. No, nah. the gloves are to protect their hands right. from your head. Like that's all. Mm-hmm. Like it's not this idea that people don't know. Like, yo, if you get hit by somebody who can really crack with a pair of boxing gloves, I don't care how big they are. You're going down. Like, right. it doesn't matter. Like, you're right. going down. I, I remember for the Run My Fade video, Floyd Mayweather Sr. told me I had boxing gloves on. He was like, throw a punch, throw a punch. He got in the shoulder roll. He got tucked in. <laughs> and like, I was like, cool. So I was like, he kind of old, you know what I'm saying? But I know he could scrap, though. Like, and so, like, I turned I turned the punch over and I hit him right on his arm because he wanted me to hit him on his arm. And what he did was something that I don't think people understand when people do the shoulder roll. What he did is he threw his shoulder into my punch. Mm. So what does that do, right? If you turn your knuckles over and you land your punch right square on somebody, if they throw it back at you, that's an opposing like wall. Yeah. So yeah. it's right there and it's messing up your wrist. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when I hit him and I put, you know, really turned the punch over. He was like, boom. And I was like, oh, that hurt. You know what I'm saying? That hurt right. me. Like, right. like, oh, throw it again. Shoot it again. Shoot it again. And like, boom. <laughs> Shoot it again. Boom. And he, he just like, ha, ha. And next mm. thing you know, I could tell what he was trying to do. He was trying to time me. He was mm. trying to do his catch so he could shoot it right underneath. He was trying to be like, oop, boop. 
so he could throw something over top, right? So, like, what happened is when he threw the counter, like, he didn't hit me, but the counter that he threw, I didn't see it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was like, those are the ones that knock you out. That's what I'm saying. Like, and so it's like, bro, that dude is 60 plus at least. He threw a punch that I didn't even see, and I was right Mm. in front of him. Like, so, so when people like Nate Robinson think you could hit some mitts or spar a little bit, hey, bro, ain't nobody hitting you back. Like, <laughs> yeah, like how long did he train for this? Because like, I know mitts don't hit back. At least three, four months. Like, yeah. But that's not enough. It's the same reason why when people were rooting for Conor McGregor to beat Floyd, I say, oh, he's going to get killed. Right. He's going to get killed. Like, because all that exercise, bike, and all that stuff. Even though Floyd build, dragged it out. <laughs> but you don't, you don't build stamina over the course of, like, weeks when yeah. you're going against somebody who has built stamina over the course of years. Years, right. right. And even Conor had problems in UFC with his stamina. Absolutely. And That's it's been like... a big problem you, for him. You can sprint all you want. You can prepare all you want. Like, it's different when you're in a fight, though. Yeah. Right. Like, because it, it costs... You spend more energy... Throwing and missing, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you, you spend a lot more energy. So I saw that coming a mile away. Nate Robinson doing the little pad work. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's hitting you back. Like nobody. Like that yeah. looks cool for reaction timing and all that because it's choreographed. Right, you know yeah, right. All it's gonna take is one person to disrupt that timing, and you're gonna learn a lot about yourself. And Jake Paul, what was interesting was what he said after. He said, "I'm doing this for real." Like I'm, I'm not. Really is. Like he's really he's trying. Like he has a passion for. Times. It. He's done yeah. it multiple times. Like so, right. it's not like he's new to this. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like so, Nate Rob, you know, tried to get a check, and and, and I knew it. as soon as Jake Paul said, like Nate Robinson's kids just don't watch the fight. Like wow. I said, he, uh, so said he that? that. Yeah, he said it. Like before wow. the fight, he said, "Yo, Nate Robinson kids don't watch this fight. Like don't." Uh-huh. Watch this. And when I saw Nate Robinson. He got hit behind the head at first. He did. Yeah. Like, first yeah, knockdown, yeah. He got hit behind his head. But he but, turned his head though. Yeah, he did. Like, yeah, he tur- but he came in crashing in like a goofy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, yeah, yeah. So, so, but and he got hit in the back of the head. I said to myself, I said, stay down. Like, don't get back up. <laughs> no, That's exactly. Like, like, <laughs> You're about to get murdered. He gets picked. He got picked up. He was like, "Ah, I hit the back of my head. Ah, I was squinting." And that eye. was a t- that was a ten count. I they said, let him no, slide. You're about to get knocked out. Like, like yeah. he didn't realize it yet. Like, mm-hmm. I was like, he's about to get knocked out because he's now he's in his head. Like he didn't shake it off. Like it was never no. I got knocked down. He was like looking at the ref. Like, did you see? He hit me on the mm-hmm. back of my head. He's squinting. He trying to get up close. And I'm yeah. like, you're gonna get knocked out. Cause yeah. all it's gonna take, if Jake Paul understood anything about boxing, they take a step forward. You take a step back. That's how you mm-hmm. measure distance. Mm-hmm. So when Nate Robinson tried to resort to some you know hood tactics and try to just come in like this, all Jake did step back. Uppercut, left hook, right hook. That was it. It's yeah. like, where are you going? Like, there, you first of all, you didn't even see it because you're like right. this. Right. <laughs> like, so he he stepped back, threw the little jab, threw uh, he threw an uppy, and I was like, once that uppy landed, I said it's over. Oh. Like, because that right hand is coming, right. and and yeah. like you don't see it, like because your yeah, head is. Right. That's the only reason he threw the uppy. He was like, that was that I, was one of the worst knockouts I've seen this year. <laughs> Aside yeah. from uh Canelo hitting um what's his name? Yeah. Kovalek. Yeah, oh Kovalek. Well, you know. Yeah. Okay. Like <laughs> but, but but like I knew it. Like I watched it, like because I'm watching it on the joint. Like I'm watching it and writing at the same time. I'm watching this and I'm like, yo, he finna get knocked out. Yeah. Like I saw it in the Tank Davis fight. I said, yo, oh boy, that was ugly. is about to get knocked out. That was an ugly one too. Yeah, he don't realize it. But he's about to get knocked out. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's because I saw Tank was timing the counter uppercut the whole fight. And he was catching him with it multiple times. But you know when the fighter's fresh, they're yeah. still like aware. Yeah. yeah. So when you start getting tired, like and and you see mentally, like the punches that you're throwing are not 
detracting them from still coming forward, right. <laughs> they're going to start sitting down on those punches that they were trying to like passively throw. So yeah. like your boy was throwing the punches and I was like, uh Oh, here it come. <laughs> like, yeah. here it come. He got closer and closer. And you could tell tank was willing to eat the jab. He was like, I eat this. Cause I know that I'm going to get so close to you. You're going to throw this jab one time too many. I'm going to duck and throw the uppie and then it's over with. Yeah. And immediately he got close enough in range and your boy was trying to throw the <laughs> boom. Oh, that, goodness. Did he go through the ropes? Like, what, he, what he, under the ropes. He went under, under the ropes. The, <sighs> it's like once it, once somebody's coming forward like that, you don't scare them no more. Like we're they're boxers, and you know that's a mental thing, right? Like boxers that come forward continually, it's not because you're not hurting them all the time. Is so that they could play in your mind. It's pressure. Yeah. You're not going to move me backwards. Right. And like that starts to play in your mind. Like it's like, yo, I, I put a lot into that punch. Why are they still here? Like, so so you start to check out mentally and tank came, knocked him out. Nate Robinson. Oh, I think I'm gonna run in like this. <laughs> right hand. I was concerned. I, he was down, he was down for a long time. I was yeah. like, oh, that don't look good. Yeah, but luckily but, he got back up. Yeah. Look at it though. Like, <laughs> how could he? Like, he didn't see the punch. Yeah. yeah. Like he probably and he, he had got knocked it. out. He had got knocked down twice before, too. Right, right. Yeah. It's like at the end of the fight, I wonder if he asked his corner, like, what shot did he hit me with? <laughs> like, what happened? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, because to, to me, like that's I don't know if y'all remember the Joshua fight when he fought Ruiz the first time. Oh my yeah. goodness. He got knocked down. He went back to his corner and was like, what did he hit? Yeah. Yeah. Because he didn't know. Like, and if you don't see it, those are the shots that cancel you. Like, those are the shots that take years off of your life. Jeez. Yeah, nah, he was cool. What what do you think about Jake Paul as a fighter? And ultimately, he wants to fight uh, Conor McGregor. What what, what do you think about that? I mean, he's 23. Conor, obviously, you know. I don't know. Like... I don't personally think Connor is a boxer. I think right. Connor has some boxing skill. Um, mm. But you're also talking about Jake Paul, who's actively boxing now. Right. Um, and he's going to get into the ring if Connor McGregor even wants to do that. Jake Paul's not a little guy. No. He's not, he's not little. Like he's he's yeah. a big guy. He's a big dude, yeah. Yeah. So so if Connor McGregor were to try to get into a boxing match with Jake Paul. I would hope that it would be five rounds or less. I would hope. Because if it's championship round length, like 10 to 12 rounds, I think Connor will gas out. Like, yep. And I don't think Connor's power translates in the boxing ring the way that he thought he would. Mm. Like, like that's the thing that I think shocked Connor McGregor about Floyd. Like his, mm. he was like, yo, I'm throwing these punches. I'm the bigger guy. And Floyd is like, you know, I've been taking punches my whole career. Like right. you. You're knocking out MMA dudes that don't take punches from professional boxers. <laughs> yeah. Right. So when he went forward, Connor, who's never really trained as a boxer, didn't know how to step backwards in fight. He didn't know. Yeah. Like there's things that you have to learn through time. He didn't know. Like that's why he kept doing that stupid old switch foot thing. Like and trying to like act like he was doing because he didn't know. Like when Floyd got too close, all kind of knew how to do was clinch. He didn't know how to fight right. up close. So I was like, he's gonna get killed. I said to everybody watching, I said, by the eighth round, they're gonna have to really start to think about throwing the towel in. Like, mm-hmm. cause he sat on the bench like this. He put ice <laughs> on his back in the second round. I said, he's done. <laughs> like yeah. he's done. So Jake Paul, if he fights Conor McGregor right now, he got his good. Nah, shot. I mean, he didn't. He didn't say right now. He, uh, he said obviously it'll be years. He got as good a shot as any. I mean, he's got more professional fights than Conor does at the boxing level. He's mm-hmm. got more professional boxing matches than Conor. Yeah, yeah, true. Conor is gonna want the Which, big bag too, though. Yeah, speaking of bags, you see how they only got paid four hundred and forty dollars. Who? Jake Nate Paul Robinson. and Nate Robinson. Well, Jake Paul's probably got he Jake Paul ain't tripping about money. Like yeah, the Paul no. well, money. No, for sure, for sure. All but the clout he, he got from knocking out Nate is will make, well, make him true. way more. 
Yeah, I mean, he was already making great bank off of YouTube right. anyway. You know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. They, they were make they were selling out. Logan and Jake were selling out the the Logan Paul and KSI fight. They were selling right. out. Arena. I saw that. Right. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like they they good on money. Like they don't no, no, for sure. For sure. But I went, to, I went just, to I went to the Staples Center for that joint, and you did? it was wild. Yeah, he was there. Oh, oh you yeah, saw the fight. The, yeah, I went, yeah, I went with the the cipher effect. And it was wild, man. There was like so many people there and merch tables everywhere. <laughs> you know? wow. Yeah. 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 But they're, yeah. they're they're amateurs when it comes, I mean, not amateurs, I mean they're professionals, but they're amateurs starting out in the professional sense. So that's why I think in kinda, boxing, they're gonna start you out with a little bag first. <laughs> it ain't like, oh, you're gonna come over here. Connor Connor should be fighting people like Jake Paul if he's gonna box. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah, nah, he should not be fighting like professional boxers. No. 10, 15 fights. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, no. no. He'll be 0 and 12. I don't think he'll beat anybody in his first 10. Because you got to remember, those guys that went pro, they have hundreds of amateur fights. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. They're not just, you know, hopping at pro level. You know what I'm saying? Like, these people that have been on that level for a while. What did you guys feel about the um the main event, Tyson versus Roy Jones? Roy said everything hurts. <laughs> he said his body still hurt, didn't he? Yeah. Roy said everything hurts. I was so, super disappointed, man. Yo, but Tyson like, said he got mad respect why? with him because he hit him with everything. Why? Because they were clinching. Like, it was, half of the fight was Roy. Were you not entertained? Did you not hear Snoop Dogg? Like, y'all really looking to see, like, 60-year-old men, like, knock the snot yeah. out of him? All right, Grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see Tyson knock Roy out. <laughs> see, just well, drunk and it happened. Go down. I think Tyson wasn't going to knock Roy out, like, because that was part of the rules. Like, they, yeah. yeah, those were the restrictions. Like, I could tell Tyson's strategy, though. His strategy was to not shoot, shoot to the body. That yeah. was the strategy he had against Roy. He was like, oh, you want to dance? I'm going to keep throwing these hooks to the body. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I'm shocked Roy's still dancing. Like, because I know that hurt. <laughs> Yo, the way that Tyson was moving, I was like, what in the world? Like, this dude don't get tired, nothing. And you mm. see Roy, when he gets to his chair, he's like breathing. And <laughs> they asked Yo, him. Yo, he had a hard time walking going? to the ring, though. You yeah. saw? Like, he yeah. had like a bad knee or something. Like, two bad knees. Oh, yeah. yeah. He looked like he was limping. You gotta cut that out, though. Like, Mike, Mike is not ready for the world-class heavyweight boxers, though. No. Like no. that sound cool. You know what I'm saying? Like but it's over. Against against like the elites. Oh yeah, Mike in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he did that to Roy, who ain't fought in like five years. Like yeah, yeah. not doing that to somebody who's active every six months. Like it's not happening. I just yeah. want to see more fighting. Like every couple of, of seconds they clinching. I'm like, wow, y'all clinching, man. Yeah, because they wanted to survive, man. They just want to <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to die. Hey, Brown. Seriously. <laughs> they already cut it down to two minutes. Roy has some slick moves, though. I ain't going to front. He punched him one time. The look yeah, of the way Pull out the old Roy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he still he still boxes. He, know, he still knows how to box. Yeah. It's just he's too old for the young bucks. Like, he just, that's cool. But, yeah, he, Roy will get knocked out. He fights somebody at work. Going to get Nate Robinson. That dude look like he's, he, he he'll not skip cardio he'll all the training camp. <laughs> yeah, you said what? I said he looked like he he skipped cardio all training camp. Facts. <laughs> it was another fight though I missed, man. That Daniel Jacobs had a fight. That oh, was yeah. He right. fought. He fought. Was uh, it? He fought uh, Rosado. He fought Rosado. Garbage. That fight. I wasn't that a split decision. Like nah, they get they it was up. a split decision, but the was ref it? yeah, yeah. yeah the, the the announcer said said that Rosado won, and then he's like, No, no, I'm Danny yeah. Jacobs won. Yeah, but my thing is like Rosado shouldn't have even been in the ring with Danny. Like Rosado, right. Rosado is a journeyman. Yeah, you know like Daniel Jacobs had three five, three losses in his career, one where he got knocked out. One was Canelo and one was Triple G. Triple G, yeah. And All the lead boxes. Decision with Gabriel Rosado. Right. You know I mean? Like, that shouldn't have even been... Yo, Daniel Jacobs need to retire. Rosado is the guy you fight before you start fighting the big... The, the right. A-listers. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, a, he's a tune-up <laughs> fight? That's yeah. fine. He's, he's, well, he's like a B-C class. Like, yeah, he's, he's the gateway guy. Like He used yeah. to be... 
You he used to be nice. He's good, but he's. I mean, he might be a nice person, but nah. <laughs> nah, you don't remember him. <laughs> but you know what his problem was? He used to cut. He used All to the cut time. that easy. Yeah, he cut because he he had a fight with Triple G in and Triple G's Triple early G. days, and he banged out with Triple G like a weirdo. Yeah, like, <laughs> like that was not the move. Is and then like, just cut. yeah, but like Rosado, like Danny Jacobs was a um. He he just wanted that Canelo payday, man. Yeah. Like yeah, after yeah. that, he was like, "Oh, I'm cool. Like yeah, I, I'm mm-hmm. like Gabriel Rosado." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the zone, the zone ain't got nobody to give him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like he about to fight, you know, uh Boo Boo Andre or something like that. He'll get beat up. He's not, yeah, yeah. He's not fighting Jamal Charlo, even though he Charlo was. Nah, he's not gonna fight him. Yeah. Why? You're gonna lose, and you're probably gonna get knocked out. You wanna right. leave with your faculties intact. Daniel Jacobs is at the point, fight a journeyman, beat one of them, retire. Like, don't fight a lion right fight now. Fight a Lemuel, David Lemuel. Oh, yeah, <laughs> don't, Lemieux, don't, don't fight a lion right now. Like, because because at this point, I don't think you could get up for that fight anymore. I, I just don't yeah. think you could. Especially fight after this fight where they nah, were. Nah, it's over. Some it's people over. were saying that Rosado actually won. I didn't I didn't see the fight, but yeah, I missed they it. were saying, like, it was real close to the call. Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool not seeing any Daniel Jacobs fight ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dirty. Uh. <laughs> well, y'all heard it here, man. Yeah, hey, well, we want to thank. Uh, yeah, we want to thank Jared for coming on the show. The show. Appreciate uh, you. What, what can they find you? What can they find your music? Everything. Let them know. Yeah. At Jared Sanders, J E R E D S A N D E R S. At Jared Sanders, pretty much everywhere. Uh, Black Friday 3 on the GOM Plus app available there. Um, I think it'll go up on Noise Trading SoundCloud in a couple of weeks or whatever, but. By then, mm. we not it's almost with over the real knockout. Oh, Jared, guys, it's not Jared. All right, I know he lost weight and all that, but it's Jared. Get it right, all right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah something like that, right? And then straight up, like it's it's Operation R and B, dude. Now, so I'm gonna be doing a lot more singing now since I'm about Uh-oh. almost sixty pounds down. You know what I'm hey, yo. You went in on that on that joint with her and uh and and uh just a messenger, man. Ah, work, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that was you till somebody mentioned that. I was like, yeah, oh was wait, that's Jack. And then I went back to listen to it again. I was like, oh, it is him. Yeah, yeah, man. It's Operation R and B. Like, I'm really trying to prep people for what's coming next year from yeah. me. Like, people are gonna get a lot of content from me next year. Like a nice. lot. Um, probably almost every month something wow um, so, yeah yeah for sure um so i know that i know um the gom compilation is coming next year too um and then i got one in the stash a secret stash i'm i'm not announcing we're that getting a trap a trap soul type joint that's what we get in next Uh-oh. year you'll see, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's right though hey it's and that's right. another thing man this dude's dropped what seven you said seven projects already no, I've dropped uh, Black Friday three in total since I came into Christian Rap is project number ten. Wow! wow. wow. Put some Rap respect. Five. Put some respect on this man's name. Ten. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put, I'm like oh si- oh seven Lil Wayne. Like like I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> no ceilings. <laughs> Straight up. That's- that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, uh, thank you, Jared, again for uh, coming through. We want to uh, remind anybody who likes coffee, make sure you check out peachcoffeeroasters.com. Use promo code TNC10 to get yourself some good Georgia coffee. And uh, we'll see you next week. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow us on Instagram. And uh, yeah, so peace. And our merch. Don't forget the merch. Yeah, it's your merch shop. That's at Christian.com. They already know. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, you already know. <laughs> Thanks again. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye. Peace. Peace.